you know the democrats are just the gift that keeps on giving so they had to try to come up with another lie to protect the kamala harris train wreck of a campaign that is built on nothing but lies and deception coming out with this new fake edited video so kamala hq only posted a 30 second clip of donald trump saying that he will go in, that he's going to protect women no matter if they like it or not kamala harris went to twitter and this is what she had to say in regards to that donald trump thinks he should get to make decisions about what to do with your body whether you like it or not and she's referring to abortion now if you watch the whole clip in its entirety donald trump was not talking about abortion he was talking about the fact that all these illegal immigrants who have committed heinous disgusting act against women and that once he's become president he is going to remove all those illegal immigrants who have committed heinous disgusting act against women whether they like it or not you see this is what the mainstream media does they always like to think, take things out of context they like to slice clips up shorten them edit them and then post it for the live viewing audience to see without putting it in its entirety that is a level of deception manipulation and straight up lying so let's take a look at the full clip and what donald trump had to say compared to the edited version that msnbc cnn abc and all those left lying ass democratic liberal networks showed on air they said sir i just think it's inappropriate for you to say i said well I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to do it whether the women like it or And now you see this headline from CBS. Trump says states might monitor pregnancies to track abortion. He never even said that in his fucking rally. The fact that they could come up with that headline is just ridiculous. Or not, whether the women like Mother Jones, Trump says states could prosecute women for abortions under his watch. Again, he never, ever said that. Not once like it or not whether the women like it or rnc approves platform that will give rights to refuse fetus endangering abortion ivfs or not whether the women like it or not whether the women like it and or of course cnn nearly sixty-five thousand pregnancies from rape have occurred in states with abortion bans study estimates not. i'm gonna do it whether the women like it or not kamala has imported so now this is the real clip that donald trump said in its entirety take a look criminal migrants from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions all over the world, from Venezuela to the Congo, including savage criminals who assault, rape, and murder our women and girls. Anyone who would let monsters kidnap and kill our children does not belong anywhere near the Oval Office. And my people told me about four weeks ago, I was saying, no, I want to protect the people. I want to protect the women of our country. I want to protect the women. Sir, please don't say that. Why? They said, we think it's, we think it's very inappropriate for you to say, so why? I'm president. I want to protect the women of our country. They said. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. All right. So you see what he was talking about. He was talking about the fact that he's going to protect women from the illegal immigrants who have committed heinous, disgusting acts against women and children in this country. Now, if the Democrats are all about protecting women, then why did 158 of them back in September voted against the Violence Against Women by Illegal Aliens Act? Why did they vote against that? It's still passed in the House that's controlled by the Republicans, but it's sitting on Schumer's desk right now collecting dust. Collecting dust. Go Google HR7909 on Congress.gov. Violence Against Women by Illegal Aliens Act. It has been in the Senate since September 19, 2024, received in the Senate, read twice, but yet there has been no roll call in the Senate regarding this bill. It's passed in the House. All Republicans voted for that bill. 158 Democrats voted against that bill that again would have protected women and deported illegal aliens who committed violent, heinous, disgusting acts and crimes against the women and girls in this country. And if the Democrats are all about protecting women, why are they pushing for biological men to compete in biological women's sports? Why are they pushing for biological men to use the same bathrooms as women? Why are they pushing 
to get changed to for men to get changed in the same locker room as women. The Democrats are not about protecting women. Kamala Harris is not about protecting women. She's about putting women in danger. The only thing that they have is abortion. And if you are clueless on the abortion topic, again, I feel like a broken record. Donald Trump gave the power back to the states. Therefore, each citizen in its states can vote whether they like the state's abortion policy or not and if you do not like what each late state legislator legislator says about abortion you can vote them out he says we have too much federal government in people's lives there needs to be less of that i don't understand what is so hard for people to understand but it's easy when you have the mainstream media continue to propagate continue to lie continue to manipulate people by the masses everybody who watches mainstream media are a bunch of sheep this is why independent media exists this is why independent media is doing better than mainstream media because we're here to tell you the truth because they won't they won't even when roe versus wade was in order they still had certain restrictions on abortion they said give the power back to the states let the people decide and then for those states who have strict abortion ban guess what go to your state or local county sheriff or a local county officials tell them to do something else about it and every single two years when your governor election comes up you can vote in new ones or you can vote out the old ones who have opposing abortion views as you i don't understand what people do not concept of that do not understand of that but that's kamala harris the mainstream media let's lie to the american people let's say trump wants to watch what women do with their uterus he don't care what women do with their body your body your choice cool but then this is the same people who had amnesia forgetting that joe biden and kamala harris forced hundreds of millions of americans to get the COVID vaccine and if you didn't get the jab what happened you were out of a freaking job so where was my body my choice during the c19 pandemic did people forget that that happened four years ago with those vax mandates did people forget that that was a thing i mean honestly and the fact that this campaign Kamala Harris has been running on is filled with nothing but lies and deception and people continue to believe it is astonishing to me. This is why they want to get rid of social media because they do not want people to get to see the truth. Only the full clip of Donald Trump saying what he said at his rally is posted on sites like X or TikTok. Conveniently enough, TikTok is about to be banned in the next couple months if somebody doesn't buy TikTok. And if damn sure if Kamala Harris gets into office, she's going to try to do away with X or have somebody buy X and force Elon Musk to sell it. The Democrats are all about dictatorship, guys. Everybody wants to vote for Kamala Harris for one issue. People are voting for Donald Trump for multitude of issues. You see the difference. Cool. You want to get an abortion? By all means, get your abortion. I'm all in favor and support that. But how are you going to get an abortion if you have no money in your pocket, you're broke as hell, you might have to go to war, and the illegal immigrants who are coming into this country are going to have primary care over you? Last time I checked, four to five issues is better than one. That's just me, but I'm not the smartest mathematic person in the room. Let me know what you guys think about this, about, you know, the mainstream media disgustingly manipulating people and trying to, again, make Donald Trump seem like an evil person that he is. Do you agree? Disagree with my commentary? Leave your comments down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.